All right, guys, working on the subscriber KX250, and in this video, we are gonna be sticking a piece of solder on top of the piston, rolling the motor over, and getting it to squash so we can see the squish pattern. And then I'm gonna be sending that solder and the head back to Ken O'Connor Racing, and he's gonna rework the head to match uh, what he did with the cylinder, which is low to mid gains porting, okay? So the head needs to be reworked. And reason being is he chopped a little bit off the base of the cylinder, so the cylinder is gonna sit lower, piston's gonna be higher, and also a certain squish is required to get an engine uh, running perfectly, and you can adjust the squish to get the desired results. I don't really know much about it, but this is something I need to do, send to him, and then um, that will be the complete port job, okay? Okay, so to measure squish, or at least provide some information to the machine shop is um, we need to come up with some solder pieces in this shape. We'll lay it on top of the piston in line with the wrist pin. We'll install the head in the motor and we will roll the motor over or just up and down a little bit and the solder will squash to a certain distance and then I'll ship these pieces and the head to Ken O'Connor Racing and he'll finish off the porting job, if you will, because remember, he took off the base of the cylinder, so this may get tighter or whatever, but he also will reshape this to get the power delivery that uh, you know is supposed to happen with this porting, okay? So this is the old piston just for uh, demo purposes, but you're gonna wanna use the piston that you intend to use in the engine, okay? So that's the new Icicle that I bought from, from Ken. Next up, you're gonna need eighth inch diameter acid core solder, okay? So I'll have a link to this below. It's super soft and it's gonna squash and basically we need that, right? Um, you need the base gasket that you're gonna run. The cylinder is torqued. I have an O-ring style head, so O-rings, you don't have to install those because those are supposed to squash metal to metal, okay? Gonna need the dowel pins and all the bolts and don't need to torque it, just get it nice and tight, right? But anyway, let's go over how I made this solder piece. So you just get a nice length, I don't know, about that long, okay? And then you kinda just shape it. So we'll go here, bend it up, Bend it over. Something like that. And then we'll bend it again. And you want to try to get it over the, the wrist pin. Okay? And you want a little bit of gap here, and that way you can adjust it. Okay? So that looks pretty good right there all right and what I'm gonna do is snip it I'm gonna snip it a little long just a little bit past the bore all right try to get a square cut too okay then take a file and just square off the ends and obviously with solder being so soft, it really takes no effort at all. Okay. Okay, so it's in line with the wrist pin, remember, because the piston can rock. It can rock this way, and you don't want you want to get accurate results with the pist with the wrist pin. It has no give, right? So we have three samples. I'm probably going to do three of them, three squashes, and I'll send. This is what I'll send to them. Okay, so let's go over to the motor and actually uh, do this. Okay, here we are at the motor. I have the base gasket that I intend to run. Right, Sba cylinder base nuts are torqued, and I put a sharpie mark along the top where the wrist pin is, okay? So just to help me out with aligning the solder. Also, I did some paint marks for here to here. Look, all we're gonna do is rotate the piston from here to here, back and forth to squash that solder. 
okay? You don't want to roll it over all the way down because what's going to happen is the solder is going to fall down. It could get trapped in one of your transfer ports, and when you roll it up, you're just screwing things up, okay? You're going to damage rings, the cylinder wall, the piston, and this is all new stuff, right? So that's why I got paint marks here. So I just go from here to here, and that's it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna be doing. And I'm, I have a breaker bar on here, and I'm just gonna do that, okay? That's all you need to do. So before I forget, I am gonna install the pins, because you wanna accurately locate the head. Every cylinder head is gonna have two dowel pins, right? All right, so when you drop this guy in here, you want it real tight up against the cylinder walls, okay? You want no, no gap. So that way the solder squishes all the way to the end, okay? Now, to help hold things in place, I'm going to put a blob of grease right here underneath. Right there. I'll drop this guy down. And that grease will just hold it in place, okay? All right, that all looks good. Again, this is an O-ring head, but if you had an MLS gasket, you will want to use that. An old gasket is fine, okay? But in my case, I'm not going to need it. All right, so we'll just put this guy on here. Okay, I didn't torque the head. It's tight. I mean, for what we're doing, we're just squashing some solder. Okay, so I got my breaker bar on here, and I'm gonna go, and right when I get to here, I feel some resistance, right? And that's the solder up against the head. So I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, there's there's some resistance, I'm squashing it, right? And then once I get to this point, it just popped through. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple times. Let's pop the head off. Another tip, um, when you roll it over and squash the um, solder, go righty tighty with the flywheel. So go from here to here. And the reason being is you will be tightening this nut because I had it in this position first and then I went that way to squash the solder and this nut kept going loose. So I had to pop the head off, reorient it this way and go righty tighty to smash the solder, okay? So that just makes it a lot easier. All right, so I took the head off and here's what it looks like. So you can see the squish or the squash of it. All right, so this is one piece that I'll send it to him. I will do it three times just to make sure it's all good. All right, so here's what it looks like when I just lay this piece in the head, okay? Um, I can even see the arrow indentation off the bicycle piston pointing towards the uh, exhaust port. But you'll notice that the solder piece goes all the way to the edge, okay? So that's, that's good. So this is a nice sample. Um, I'll do a couple more. Um, just for giggles, let's measure this. We have roughly 43 on this side. 43 on that side. So I don't know what the number um, is. I, I, I don't know. We'll see when we get it back. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Here is the head, and I have three samples that I squashed, and I will be boxing this up, sending it to Ken O'Connor Racing. He's going to machine this to whatever it needs to be, and I'll report back in a later video.